Good afternoon everyone, Behzad is here from Code Simplifier Coding School. In today's video, we are going to fix an error in our VS Code environment. We want to use Git in VS Code to push our project into a repo. Repo is like a database which takes screenshots of our project along the way and stores them for future references, also known as version control system. The problem we have is whenever we want to push our project into the repo, we will get this error. Make sure you configure your username and user in Git. To solve this issue, we need to make sure we have Git on our system. So if you are using Windows, go to your search bar and search for Git. If this window doesn't pop up, that means you don't have Git on your system. If that is the case, go to Google, do a search and install the latest version of Git according to your operation system. In your Google search bar, just write down download Git. Once the window come up, open up the Git and here you have Mac, Windows or Linux. So you download the latest version of Git onto your system. Once you installed Git on your system, we need to go back to step one again. So in your search bar, write down Git. And if this window pops up, here is the scripts we need to write down. Just write down git config double hyphen global user dot name space. And here is where you need to write down your name, also known as username. So make sure you use a username that you will can recall for the future references. Then below that one, you have git, same thing, config, double hyphen, global user email. And here you have your email. These are the two scripts you need to write down in your git command line. To check everything works fine, I created a simple HTML file and wrote some dummy text in it. We want to just write another paragraph, another test, and here go to your source control again. And here is what we added. Our line has been highlighted. That means our repo and Git version control system works fine. And that is how we connect our version control system Git into our VS Code. Now let's move on and see what causes this issue. To track our project improvement, we need to store the major changes somewhere for future references. And Git does that for us. The problem we had was that Git didn't recognize who we were. We simply introduced our connection by using a username and user email. And that was all we had to do. And that's it for today's video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it did help, Please like this video and if you are new here, please support our work by subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you are giving us confidence to create more videos like this and share them with others who may have similar issues. Thank you all and I will see you next week.